Welcome back. As we saw, AI has more and more subfields. In this section, we'll discuss the top three technology directions for AI. But let's first look at the big pictures, how data, algorithms, and schools of thought combine to yield AI applications. If you look at the chart, you'll see that the heart of all AI is data and algorithms. You then need to have an approach to organize this data. That's what we call the school of thought. From that, you create a range of AI technologies. Those technologies are then applied in a wide variety of deployment scenarios. This pie chart shows the most common application directions for AI technologies, both in China and in other countries. As you can see, three directions account for more than half of the total. Computer vision, voice processing, and natural language processing. Computer vision is the most mature of the three. It consists of two subcategories, observation and recognition. Observation refers to the AI's ability to differentiate patterns. One example would be pairing a camera with an AI that automatically detects intruders. The pattern detected in that case would be movement in an area that's supposed to be free of movement. As to recognition, it's about reading license plates, spotting defects on a circuit board, or keeping track of the movements of individual pigs in a pig farm. Observation and recognition yield a variety of more specific capabilities. For instance, image segmentation is the ability of the AI to simplify or change the representation of an image into something easier to understand or analyze. This can help to identify tumors in medical images or notice abnormalities in anatomical structures. Another subset of computer vision is image classification, meaning the ability to sort images according to parameters, like images with people and images with no people. Image classification can be used to create smart albums where photos are automatically sorted in neat categories that are searchable by keywords, like cars or beach. Target detection is another sub-capability of computer vision. This refers to the detection of certain patterns. One possible application would be in agriculture, to spot weeds or insect damage in a large wheat field with the help of a drone. Computer vision is used in a wide and expanding range of specific deployment scenarios. Image recognition, for instance, is used in e-commerce to search for products. Let's say you see a coffee mug you like, but you don't know where to buy it from. With the help of image recognition, online shopping sites can help you find that mug if you upload a photo of it. The second major application of AI is voice processing. This refers to voice recognition, voice synthesis, and audio-based detection. The most mature of the three is voice recognition, or the ability of an AI to respond to voice commands. Currently, state-of-the-art voice recognition is able to process speech in a quiet environment with 96% accuracy. Audio-based detection covers the identification and classification of sounds, such as the noise that intruders would make, whales in the ocean, or chainsaws in a protected rainforest. Huawei is currently supporting a pilot project for the protection of marine mammals in Ireland that detects, analyzes, and classifies whale sounds. We hope that better understanding of whale behavior will help to reduce human interference in their lives. As for voice processing, it is used extensively. For example, in car navigation systems, it helps you input an address without taking your eyes off the road. In smartphones, it responds to simple instructions like, call Mike McDonald. Natural language processing refers to computers being able to process human communications, be it verbal or written, even when it includes improper grammar or non-standard words. NLP also aims to take context into account. Currently, NLP technology is used to sort 
consumer comments on online shopping platforms and turn them into useful marketing data. As you can imagine, it's very hard to create an AI that can make sense of unstructured entries typed by consumers who might use slang, jargon, abbreviations, and may misspell words. A more highly developed form of natural language processing is machine translation. Machine translation works well with online browsers such as Google or Microsoft Bing. They get the job done, but it still has room to improve, especially when it comes to interpreting colloquial speech. In future, it's expected that natural language processing will evolve from understanding relatively simple speech segments in well-defined contexts to acquiring advanced semantics capabilities. This will require the creation of hybrid intelligence systems that combine several advanced AI methods and techniques. Because NLP involves not only language, but also contextual understanding, it's closely linked to cognitive studies. So in many ways, success in developing AI with strong NLP capabilities is almost the same as developing strong AI. So that's it for the three main uses of AI. In the next section, we'll look at the expanding number of areas where AI is used.